north of Everett about, you know, I don't know, 15 miles or so. Yeah, we just spent the afternoon putting this thing up, so it's a temporary antenna, though. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. Uh, Kilo Mike 6, Yankee Sierra Sierra. You're 5 and 9 here on Tomato Island. Name is Dean, over. Roger, Roger, Dean. You're uh, 5 and 9 into Caldwell, Idaho, which is only about 20 miles closer than Boise, over. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting worked on Idaho here. You know, there's guys out there in places that are they're screaming for stations in Idaho, and I just work too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Roger, Roger. You've got a really long, uh, really strong signal. You're 5 and 9 over, about uh, 5 over, 10 over here in uh, Idaho. Over. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, we've, we've got it set up here for, uh, for a higher angle of radiation. It's not up very high. It's about 40 feet, I think, at the apex. And uh, it's a little lower at the ends of the element. So that's kind of what we were looking for. We're looking for a high angle for uh, work in the U U.S. instead of uh, DX. But... Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how it works. It seems like it's working pretty good here right now. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I'm on your QRZ page, and uh, you've got some pretty uh, pretty interesting antenna setups there, man, especially the mobile one, over. Yeah, that's my Subaru. I've, I've, I've got 247,000 miles on that car, and unfortunately they don't make them anymore. And, uh, um, and that, but yeah, that was 160 meters through, uh, through 10. I'd have to change the width to get 10, but... Uh, but I could do it, and it was almost, uh, one of the whips I had was almost a quarter wavelength at 15 meters. Yeah, Roger, Roger, looks pretty sharp. I know a lot of guys want to talk to you, so I'll be letting you go here in a minute, but I uh, also want to let you know I've got a YouTube channel. I uh, record these contacts and upload them under your call sign, uh, you know, the November 7 X-Ray Sierra on my YouTube channel. My uh, QRZ page has a link to that if you want to go there and you can be able to hear what an amazing uh, tone and sound you got here in Idaho, over. Well, oh, thanks. It, 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 I mean, I can't believe the band is this short. That's what's really weird. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm running a Kenwood 480HX, and I'm sitting here in, in my FJ Cruiser here in the yard, right underneath the antenna. So, And I'm sure that's affecting the pattern some, too. But, oh, well. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so uh, that's very cool. And, uh, and I will have to go check that out. Thank you. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I'm running the Linko, uh, um, ICOM 73, Linko, I'm sorry, the ICOM 7300, and I'm also running into a G5 RV antenna in an L configuration, and it's, so it's going to be an er, inverted L, an inverted L, over. Yeah, it's doing great. Um, yeah, no problem on the 
caught me either. Yeah, like I said, you've been 10 to 20 over 9 here, uh, just about the whole conversation. Wow, that's amazing. Well, 73 is my friend. I know a lot of people were trying to get through to you, so I don't want to hold anybody away from being able to get that contact. So have a great one, my friend. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you very much. It's 73. Have a good afternoon. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you a little bit later. And, uh, yeah, I, get, I do get on. I get on voice every once in a while. I've been on FP8 an awful lot. That's why I was saying that when you first got on. That your call sounded familiar, I, like I worked you on 10 meters, but it might have been somebody else, so... And that doesn't surprise me. My memory's not that great. <laughs> anyway, 73, see you later, and uh, thank you for the contact. And help me check this antenna out. It's N7XS.